Welcome back. After last week's tragedy in Boston, it's always nice to hear when terrorist plots do not succeed. This success story comes from the Great White North. No, I don't mean Anderson Cooper's beautiful dome. I mean Canada. That's right, Canada. The country that popularized maple syrup and Mike Myers is thwarting bomb plots. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police, or Mounties, did something aside from looking awesome in tall boots and riding pants for once. They stopped an Al-Qaeda attack from entering U.S. soil less than a week after the Boston bombings. So for this week's takeaway, I'm saying thank you, Canada, for more than just being the butt of all our American jokes. But I'm sure you're not familiar with what a butt is in Canada. White people, right? It's really hard to find a way to be prejudiced against Canadians. But I'll try, eh? I know what you're thinking right now, Canada. For years and years, Americans have made jokes about Canadian pacifism. For example, your mother's so non-confrontational that she probably lived in Canada. Even Switzerland's ambassador tried to take your snack pack in the UN cafeteria. I still don't know how they make a menu to satisfy everybody in there. Pizza? Kosher pizza? The answer to that question is above my pay grade. Anyway, I'd like to apologize for the rest of America. We always view ourselves as the protectors, but you guys had our back, or our top, however you want to put it. I wish I had a Mountie costume and a bottle of Canadian mist to swig while I belt out the lyrics to, oh, Canada. Sadly, here's a preview of how that might look. Oh, Canada, <laughs> our home and native <laughs> My America gene prevents me from finishing the entire song. I'd probably start blathering something by Toby Keith toward the third stanza anyway, so just appreciate the sentiment, Canada. Americans are hesitant to say thank you and quick to forget, so eat this publicity while it lasts. The next time we'll talk about news during the NHL playoffs, but who are we kidding? That's really just for you guys anyway. Join me next week for a special 30-minute season finale here on The Update. It will be my final show here on Tiger TV if corporate wins, which they always do. So until next week, watch my show, send angry emails to corporate, and always remember to update yourself. Thundercats, whoa!